Guys, let's talk about fandom. Fandom in sports. Being a fan of a team. If you are a fan of a team, you want the ultimate success for your team. That is the goal. The goal is for your team to have ultimate success in winning a championship. And if that is the case, that you want your team to win a championship, I don't understand why, as fans, people root for their athletes on their teams to take the most money possible. This is not an indictment on the athletes. Athletes should take every penny that they can possibly get. If they can get it on the free market, they should go get it. That is what they are worth. But as fans, why are we so excited whenever an athlete signs a big contract with our team? We shouldn't be rooting for these athletes to get huge contracts. We should be rooting for them to get fair deals. We should be rooting for them to get deals that allow our teams to make another move. We should be get, we should be excited about deals that we feel like were a discount on what the market demanded for them. We should be excited whenever we get a deal done with an athlete that is below what we thought we were going to have to do. Again, from the athlete's perspective, they should get every penny. From a fan's perspective, I don't know why we're excited whenever a huge contract comes across our team. Yes, we do want to keep the asset. We like the guy. Yes, we can be excited that the athlete re-signed with our team or signed with our team. But we're not excited about how much they signed for if they got a huge max contract, highest paid guy in the league sort of contract. As a Bengals fan, whenever Joe Burrow signed that extension, I was very happy that we signed Joe Burrow. Because Joe Burrow, there was some talk of him maybe leaving too small of a market, wanted a bigger city, all that stuff coming around whenever he was drafted. I was very happy that we signed Joe Burrow. But hearing that he's the highest paid quarterback in the league does not make me excited. That means that the Bengals have some very tough decisions to make coming down the line. They only franchise tag T. Higgins. They're not going to be able to pay him and Joe Burrow's $55 million cap hit. We had to let go of Jesse Bates last year. We had to let go of a couple of other key defensive people last year, knowing that we can't pay them with Joe Burrow's extension kicking in. Trey Hendrickson asks for a trade this offseason because he wants more security, a longer-term salary, and the Bengals aren't willing to do that because Joe Burrow has so much money tied up in him. Again, $55 million plus dollars a year. That's a huge cap hit. So I'm... I'm very excited as a Bengals fan. I have Joe Burrow on my team. That is a win. But it is not a win that I have to pay him the most of any quarterback in the league. That's not a win. I'm not happy about that. I want my team to be able to win a Super Bowl, win games. If Joe Burrow took $40 million a year instead of $55 million a year, we'd probably get to keep T. Higgins and or Jesse Bates or Trey Hendrickson. We get to keep more assets. We get to go get an asset in free agency because we have the cap space for it if Joe Burrow doesn't take the absolute maximum amount of money that he can get. And great for Joe Burrow. That's great for him. But that's not what I'm rooting for as a fan of the team. People defending this Jared Goff contract tooth and nail. He deserves every penny. Yeah, he does. But you as a Lions fan shouldn't be excited that you have to pay Jared Goff that much money. I fundamentally disagree with the whole idea of being excited when your player gets paid. LeBron James probably going to get the max deal from the Lakers. People that love LeBron are going to say, yeah, he's still worth that. Even in year 22, 23, he's absolutely worth it. He's worth the $55, $60 million a year. As a Lakers fan, you're hoping LeBron signs for 30 so that you can get another asset. You're hoping LeBron doesn't eat up that much cap. You're hoping to be able to sign someone else to add to the team. I just don't get it. I don't understand how fans don't get this. I don't understand how fans love seeing these huge contracts come across the screen. Yes, be happy you kept the player. Be happy you got the asset in free agency. But you're not rooting for these guys to get every single dollar. They are, but why are you? You want your team to be flexible. You want your team to be dependable. You want to be able to move a guy if he doesn't live up to his contract, not have a salary that's so huge you can't even move him. You want to build a team that if one guy gets hurt, you can still compete. 
you want to have talent elsewhere. You want to accumulate as much talent as you can on all of your teams. So why are you so excited when somebody takes up so much room on your cap? Love the asset. Love watching the guy play. But you don't have to love his cap number. You need your team to win. You want your team to win. For all of us here at Garbage Time Sports, have a great night.